A surgical robot is giving Kelly the best chance of beating her bowel cancer. Around 44,000 patients a year in the UK are diagnosed with the disease and the precision of a robot can improve results. I think it's fabulous. As a fellow healthcare professional, um, it's always great to move with the times. Um, reading up about it, um, like post-recovery and things like that, um, said to be less invasive and to aid a quicker recovery after. But an earlier diagnosis could prevent the need for surgery altogether and the NHS is now launching a new trial of a blood test that can detect bowel cancer and 11 other forms of the disease with an accuracy of 99%. The test, called MyOnco, can diagnose cancers including those in the lung, stomach, prostate and ovary. Even before symptoms develop, tumours release fragments of genetic material called microRNA and these are released into the bloodstream where they can be detected. As little as 10 drops of blood are all that's needed, the microRNA is extracted and analysed with artificial intelligence to not only determine the presence of cancer but also where it is in the body. Deborah James's bowel cancer was diagnosed at a late stage and she campaigned up to her death to raise money and give future patients hope. At the newly named Bowel Babe Laboratory, her mum said research could change lives. Deborah was quite a science geek, really. I think she would be so chuffed to see what her fundraising for the Bowel Babe Fund has gone towards. And the health secretary, a cancer survivor himself, said the government would put medical technology at the heart of its 10-year plan for the NHS. These are the sorts of breakthroughs that are going to make a real difference to people's chance of survival and may mean that in the future families like Deborah's do not have to cope with the unimaginable grief and loss that they've been through and so many other families go through. One in two of us will now get some kind of cancer. The NHS is struggling to keep up and survival rates for many forms of the disease often lag behind those in other countries in Western Europe. But a cheap and accurate blood test for early cancer could help dramatically improve the outlook for patients. Thomas Moore, Sky News.